What is the crack, lads? Today we're going to be taking a look at eight overpowered cheap strikers in Dream Team. Some of the guys in here are absolute beasts. I mean, they can compete with some of the best players in the game for a fraction of the price, and they just seem to be absolutely doing bits for me and for others as well. So I'm going to share them with you here. There's some eight of these guys ranging in different budgets to suit everybody. So we're going to kick things off with a budget bargain buy. And this guy is playing for in the Turkish league, as far as I know. He's a Nigerian striker, Sevaspor, 5,900 GP, an absolute bargain. Now, look, he's got 81 speed, 78 acceleration. He's got amazing run, speeding bullet. And for his player skills, he's got super sub, track back, first time shot, cut behind and turn, chip shot control. With a bit of training, lads, and pump this guy up to a 75 or, or around that and put the stats into speed and finishing to top that up. He will be an absolute unit for you for a cheap starter squad. Next up, we've got a bit of a, a kind of a uh, another option that's just slightly more expensive, but very similar stats to KO that I just had there a second ago. Um, so these guys are kind of two budget guys under 10k. Ellis, who plays in League One uh, for Bordeaux, as far as I know, again he's got really high speed. His his finishing is a little bit better. Uh, but he is nearly double the price. So again, a very, very good player. Again, I was attracted to his player skills and his speed. You need to have a fast striker. You know, you need to have one big striker, which we'll get to in a second, but you also need to have a fast striker as well to be able to make the runs. And playing styles and player skills are a huge, huge advantage. Uh, Watford's Dennis. So Watford actually have a couple of strikers that you could pick. You know, they have a couple of guys there that you can kind of pick and see uh, which one suits you. But again, another Nigerian striker. This guy is 72 overall, 78 speed, 8 acceleration, 71 dribbling, 74 aggression. And again, the player skills, fighting spirit, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, chip shot control. Again, like a really nice player to have for a bit of pace and a bit of trickery in the box. Next up, a man that needs no introduction, Darwin Nunes. Now, this guy has been, I won't say he's a bit of a hidden gem, and I won't say that he's a bit of under the radar because, you know, everyone seems to be using him because he's on A rating, he's on A form. He's got stats in the mid-70s for pretty much everything that you need for a center forward. He's 187 CM. He's got speeding bullet and long ranger, so he's the best of both worlds. You know, he can attack and punish you against any position he's also got super sub which bringing him on as your backup striker even i mean he he can stick around till for months if you if you train him right and he is definitely worth having in your squad whether you start him or whether you have him as a sub so definitely get on him as well this guy again this is a bit of a, a bit of a curveball as well i was kind of looking for players over 30 to be able to align with some managers as a as a veteran player but just look at this guy's player skills. Now, I've tried this guy out in different modes, like training mode and stuff. He's got really nice uh, player skills. He's got a really nice movement style as well. His dribbling is nice. His offensive awareness is very high for a player this cheap, 15k. So he's going to be making really nice runs in the box because he's a goal poacher. And then again, we have the budget being spread a tiny bit bigger as well here with Vargas. So this guy is actually a free agent. You're going to need to search for center forwards between... Uh, 10 and 50,000 GP and uh, Chilean as his nationality but again this guy has been a beast in Pez for years and it continues to be with this as well 79 acceleration 71 finishing you top his finishing up and his acceleration up to maybe 84 and his finishing to maybe 76 77 which are max training and even more and this guy would be a very very good player to bring in off the bench as well now last but not least lads we have Daka um, well he's his second last Daka from Leicester, lads, this guy is unbelievable, and I think he's been slept on a little bit, like he's got lovely height, he's got lovely AI playing style, amazing running speed and bullet, 84 speed and 82 acceleration, a lot of the young players under 24, right, a lot of them you'll find, especially center backs, which I'll get to in another video, but a lot of the players, it's very hard to like boost up their speed, and I'm not saying that it's a speed fest in Dream Team, but you do need to have a fast striker. So if you've already got a fast striker, you're going to want to probably concentrate on getting a big burly striker that can do, you know, a bit of damage for you in the air and stuff like that. But if you're looking for just an out and out scorer, I think you can't go wrong with Daka. Speaking of an aerial threat, right, I had a look at a couple of different players. There's a few players that are like 200 centimeters and higher or taller. Um, but this guy, I mean, playing for Genk in the Belgian league, Unuachu 
is, man, he is an absolute monster. Now, he reminds me of kind of Jan Collar, Peter Crouch type player, um, or Triore, who was famous on MLO. Just a big unit. But in, when you look at his stats as well, right, he's 84 heading, which, you know, for a 32,000 GP guy, 201 centimeters, look at all his player skills, you know, first time shot, chip shot control, double touch. This guy's got a bit of tech, technicality and technique about him as well. He's not just a big, you know, hulking figure. He's got 84 physical contacts, so he's going to be able to push pretty much all the defenders around, apart from like the top, top superstars. Definitely get on him if you're looking to get like a, a tall kind of uh, center forward, if you've got your small kind of speedy forward that makes runs in around the box. But if you're not crossing, if you're not stunning shot crossing or stunning crossing in to the box and using that, it's super OP at the moment. And I think you can get a lot of goals like that, you know, break down the play, get it out onto the box with a good crosser, maybe has a player skills of early cross and then be able to get the ball into the box to somebody like Onuocha or Unucha. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'll give it a go. But yeah, lads, that is it for another video eight overpowered cheap strikers let me know in the comments below who you guys are using let me know if you sign any of these and if you're able to bang the goals in with them and let me know any feedback on it there's a lot of good players there so yeah share your tips and i will be back with another video very soon peace